This bridge was destroyed during the war. Now it's been rebuilt, and I'm very happy to be able to fish beneath it again. The Mostar Bridge is now a symbol of post-war reconciliation. Ivan Bakataric comes here to fish for trout. When I stand here on the bank and fish, I don't really think about anything. I enjoy nature and just relax. I was born by the water, I work by the water, and I'll probably die by the water. Ivan works a couple of kilometers upstream in a hydropower plant built 500 meters inside a mountain. I've been working here for the past 27 years. I started in 1984. I'm an electrician by training. I'm shift supervisor and power generation manager at the Rama power plant. It's one of the biggest hydropower stations in Bosnia-Herzegovina. And it's been online for more than four decades. Now, some parts need replacing, like the turbines. The German development bank KFW is prepared to invest 17 million euros in renovations. Hydropower is the country's biggest source of power. 50% of the country's power plant capacity comes from it. Few countries in Europe have as much hydropower potential as Bosnia. Only a third of this potential is being harnessed, despite the large number of hydropower stations in Bosnia-Herzegovina. Plans are in the works for new plants. The company that operates the Rama power plant is also planning to open the first wind farm in the region, in the highlands. Only one mast has been built so far to measure wind speeds. But construction is set to begin in a few months. In two main roads, yes. uh, from that spot to up to there. We want to build 22 units with a capacity of 2 megawatts each year. The wind farm will have a total capacity of 44 megawatts. It'll be the first one in Bosnia-Herzegovina. It's a pilot project. We're planning to build more wind farms when this one's up and running. The winds are strong here, and they blow all year round. The foundation stone for the wind farm was laid last year. In the future, the farms could meet the power needs of some 30,000 households. The KFW Bank is also financing this project with a low interest loan of 72 million euros. The wind power potential here is 800 megawatts, only 5% of the total. There's enough for other ventures and private investors. It's important for the country. The national economy is small, it's open, and there's a constant import surplus, but they can export power. But can the country's power grid distribute the wind power? That's something the national grid operator in the capital, Sarajevo, has to consider. The screen shows all the power lines in the country. The lights start flashing if a transformer station goes down. But large parts of the grid are in need of a complete overhaul. A World Bank study says it will require investments totaling more than 1 billion euros. And feeding in wind power will require large-scale grid expansion. There is some part of, of Bosnia can you look, see here? There is no network around, but there is a lot of wind here. And uh, for these wind farms, you need to, to build lines who will connect with other, other part of networks. It means uh, a level of investment will be the same. Building of wind park and connection lines 
almost the same in some, some cases, which is a lot of money. And most of the money must come from abroad. But the country needs that investment. Expanding the renewable energy sector in Bosnia-Herzegovina could give a big boost to this fragile economy.